be advised, the Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Well, do I really have much of a choice if I'm going to use this thing? And otherwise, yeah, just be aware, I'm gonna suck at piloting this thing. And also, it's already sinking. Oh, that thing is massive. Now, there is a reason why I never built this thing up until now. Main reason being, uh, what Cyclops, down here? I would imagine that's the top of something. Ooh. Yeah, the main reason is I never really saw the use in having a big freaking submarine because, okay, apparently it's supposed to function as a mobile base or something, but... Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Okay, that sounds cool. Um, it's supposed to have lockers. Awesome. Uh, that is cool, but... Diving chair. This thing is so massive. So freaking massive. Uh, launch bay? This is where you can... This is where you can keep a Seamoth or a Prawn suit. Uh, the thing is, it's so massive. It's gonna be slow as hell. Um, even if you can deposit a different vehicle inside of here, it's gonna be slow. Even if it's a mobile base, it's still slow. The Seamoth and the Prawn suit are gonna be so much better. Health energy, uh, access upgrades. Okay, I need to figure out how... Fire extinguisher? Oh, you come with several power cells equipped, nice! And this is also part of the thing that you scan for this thing. And this one over here, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's so massive. Decoy launch. Okay, that's cool. I can admit it looks cool. Um, no vehicle docked. Yeah. But if it's going to be slow, the Seamoth and the Prawn suit both are going to be much more valuable to me. But that does not mean that there is a whole lot of options for this thing. Um, change the color over here, submarine name, um, external floodlights, internal lighting. Ooh, fancy. And floodlight is the big lights, I think, I'm not sure. There's a radar and everything. Um, pilot sub. Engine offline. Oh my. Okay. That is cool. Did that reef back respond to this? Not sure, might have been random. Uh, anyway, rig for silent. Rig for silent running. Silent running? That's gonna be requiring a whole lot of power, doesn't it? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Uh, Toggle, silent camera, a keel. That's the back of the ship, that's the front. Uh, Toggle camera, coning tower. Um. Okay, um, yeah. This thing. Is gonna be a massive issue to pilot. Might have to. Powering up. Oh my god, it's just so much. Uh, can I? Oh, I'm already piloting it. Um, speeds. Ahead slow. Ahead slow. Ahead flanked. Emergency speed. Emergency speed. So. Warning. Vessel counterfeit. Excessive noise. Yeah, it's. It's a cool thing, that is a noise production. Uh. Warning, engine, overheat. Excuse me, what? Um, how do I? Engine, powering down. Engine overheat. Oh, are you gonna have to deal with that in this thing too? Oh boy. Um, yeah. This is a whole different cupcake. Most definitely. Ah. Uh. I don't see myself using this thing, and I am actually happy that I didn't have to use it, but right now I'm wondering how the hell do I create a Cyclops shield? 
module, thing, whatever. So something like a fabricator on board? Yes, upgrade fabricator. That's where you make it. Um, did something just bump against my... Hi. Um, let me pilot this thing. Oh, I need Engine to... Powering up. No. We're on collision course with a reef back. Come on, backwards. 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 Thank you. Yeah, I... I really don't see myself using this. Except for that. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, no. This is mostly a means to an end. I want that upgrade. But uh, how the hell do we get out of here? Because we need a lot of stuff. As a polyanoline power cell, advanced wiring kit. We should be good. I hope. I really hope. Oh boy. Alright, this should be all the ingredients I hope for this. This portion of the game suddenly contains a whole lot of remembering all these several ingredients and recipes and everything just to create what you need and it's... Uh, all that you see right now has been over the course of one, two, three hours just getting all of this ready. Um, do I have everything right now? Yes, I do. In which case... Where's my Neptune? There it is. Or, it's not Neptune. Honestly, I forgot the name of it. Cyclops! It's a Cyclops! Oh my god. See, I don't use this thing. Alright, let's see. Cyclops, shield generator. Please! Thank you very much. All that for one little thing. Okay, well, um... Here we go. Awesome. Get out. Get the stuff that we need from the base. And then we can finally build that cockpit. Alright, here we go. Finally got all the supplies. Now I do wonder, is the cockpit indeed going to be the final thing that we need for this? I hope it is. Sort of. The final piece of the puzzle. Such a freaking massive thing. Neptune One rocket online. Awesome. So freaking awesome. <laughs> and now we can color it, name it, and ah. Uh, Okay, um, I am not sure if entering this thing is going to mean launching it, so I'm not going to do that just yet. There is still one or two final things that I would like to do. I am not going to be completing this game having seen everything that there is to be seen on planet 4546B. Please be aware of that. But it doesn't mean that I might not return to this place at some point in the future. But for now, um, I think I'm actually going to save, just in case. Because I do want to know... Uh, I want to know if there's anything else that I need inside of the rocket. I don't want to go and enter this thing thinking, Okay guys, everyone, it was nice being here. Good to see you. I'll see you next time. And enter the rocket and then it's like, No, uh, sorry, did you think about this and that and all the other stuff that you still require? That would be one hell of an embarrassing rocket launch. Not even Elon Musk could get away with something like that. Because I can already see that happening. So... Awesome. So awesome. Enter the rocket. Okay, so, um... We got storage here. Nice. Uh, we're gonna have to stuff this full of stuff. Um, communications array. Throw switch. Um, is that what we want to do right now? That's the energy. Oh... Okay, 
Um, okay, uh, let's see. Communication array off. Hydraulic systems off. Auxiliary power unit off. We need to switch all of that on. <gasps> Prepare time capsule. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, primary CPU. Oh, this is cool. And activate life support systems. I can leave behind a time capsule. Oh, I'm gonna have to think about that one. Oh, I'm gonna have to think about that one. Well, um... Awesome. Very awesome. But, for now... What? What just happened? What just happened? Why is everything... Did the Reeve back just bump against my rocket? It better not have. It better not. Alright. Who did that? No one. Just completely random bump in the road. Okay, fine. <sighs> anyway. I'm gonna think of the final things that I want to do before we end this entire playthrough. So, I'll be right back. Gotta think. So, I have been thinking. It's unbelievable. After all this freaking time, so many hours on this planet. We're finally leaving. We're ready to leave. I can step inside of the Neptune space rocket and leave any second right now. I can climb in there, activate everything and say goodbye everyone. But it's like that final preparation before going on a holiday. Did I pack everything that I need? Well, we didn't pack anything just yet, but uh, did we do that? Did we turn off the lights everywhere? Did we unplug all the cables of stuff that we don't need? Did we leave on the stove or something? It, uh, did we lock the door? All that kind of stuff. Questions that are like, did we do everything? Are we ready to leave? And I've come to the conclusion that no, I am not ready just yet. We're nearly there. There's one or two things that I still need to do. Starting with the question, did we feed the fish? Because, yeah, all these resinals in here, which are a massive amount, by the way. If we leave here, nobody else is on this planet. Do we assume that everything continues to work? No. Can we leave all these fish in here in that case? No. So time to capture oh it's time to capture all of these things and release them back into the wilds all right friends it's an awful lot of you but all of you be free now we, uh, we might be causing an ecological disaster because all of these fish are not foreign to this part of the ocean so um in that case maybe whoops but on the other hand that's an awful nice amount of them. Um, next up, we most likely have two little special friends of ours that also need a place of their own. And seeing how cute the two of you are, I have a special place in mind. There is only one place that I can imagine where they would be the safest. Away... F away from that thing. I forgot about you. Again. There you go, friends. <laughs> be free. Uh, there's only one place that I can imagine where they would be safe. And that is right here inside of the safe shallows. Sure, there might be predators around in the neighborhood. But that is further away. So if they stick around here... They've got nothing to worry about. So... Cuttlefish, a curious species, hatched from an egg in alien containment. I hope you'll survive, because bloody hell. You're freaking cute. Um, play with? Oh my god, that is adorable. <laughs> oh, that is so adorable. Can I play with the other two? Hi, play with, yes. Oh my god. Okay, these things are the absolute best. <laughs> Just look at them. So 
adorable. Oh, there's my decomposing peeper. Uh, don't touch the decomposing peeper, gals, friends. Oh, so cute. But um, say farewell. Don't tell me you two are going to follow me. Are you? Oh, they might be following me. Maybe. Are you? Yeah, they are most definitely following me. Which means this is only going to hurt even more. I'm going to have to say farewell. I'm sorry, friend. That is way too freaking adorable. Uh, now, be friendly to each other. Be friendly to all the fish in the sea. I will not forget about you two. Stay safe. Uh, Alright. I'm terrible with saying goodbyes. Definitely terrible. Now, with all the fish completely free again, um, I think I'm nearly done it with this base, but we also made the base all the way in the Lost River biome. And there is a certain lava lizard over there that I just can't leave like that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, here we are. Now, I do hope our little lava lizard friend isn't aboard, too angry with us, because yes, it is kind of a predator and stuff, but hey. Oh, and I forgot about the Reginalds. Oops. Alright, you, Lava Lizards, and all the freaking Reginalds. Is that all of them? None remaining? No? Good. Now, I am kind of happy that this egg did not hatch just yet, because that base is still going to get destroyed in the future. You just know it's going to happen. Now, the best place where I can release his lava lizard is as close to his home as possible. I'm sure he'll search the warmth and then he'll be safe. Most definitely. So, friend, be free. Thank you. I love you too. Go play with the warpers. And finally, all these Reginalds. There you go, friends. Now, for my next plan, I kind of need to grab some of your upgrades, friend. Because from here on out, I am taking the Seamoth back to where it started. I am most definitely going to miss this place. Most definitely. Alright, that should be everything over here at this sea base. <sighs> it really feels weird to say goodbye to all of this. But our journey is nearing its end. There's one final thing that we need to do on this planet before we head off. Although technically two things, because number one that we need to do is actually get back to the surface in one piece. Because we're still dealing with a ghost leviathan. Now for the next part and the final thing I will do on this planet, I'm going to need a little bit of time and a lot of patience. But you'll see what I'm talking about soon enough. Oh, and I almost forgot. I can't leave these guys just sitting here. Sorry, buddies. Sorry. All of you, be free. Alright, I think I'm ready. So, final preparations. The final few preparations starting with all of these lockers I have been saving up on a lot of nutrient blocks so these should hopefully last me a fair bit together with some cured peepers and some reginalds and I've got a very nice supply of water so hopefully I'll not be running out anytime soon there we go all right auxiliary power units throw the switch Auxiliary power unit online. Awesome. Next one. Communications array. Communications systems array active. Awesome. Now, hydraulic systems. 
pressurizing hydraulics. I don't even know what most of these things do, but hopefully I'll survive. I'm placing my faith in science. All right, next up, we have primary CPU. Primary computer systems active. Then we also have life support. Life support systems online. All right, no hiccups of any kind. All that leaves this. For lift off. Well, if all systems are ready, I'm not just yet. Our final act on this planet, we prepare our time capsule for those after us. Perhaps next time we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seeds to a new land. Those were some of the final words an unlikely friend of mine spoke, but her goodbye made me think. Our time is always limited, and in it we should strive for a better world. Whether or not I'll make it off of this planet remains to be seen, but in my final moments, let me try to do the same. As I leave, let me attempt to make this world a better place. This time capsule contains a seed of the nearly extinct Sea Crown, a plant of unimaginable value for those who see it for the very first time. It is my hope that when I'm gone, the sea crown will have proliferated on the ocean currents, brought to new lands by my old friend. This is Fulton Elda, signing off. Time capsule ready. Absolutely. All right, well, I guess that's it. So, let's get this party started. All systems ready? Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Well, what are we waiting for? Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. After all this time, finally. Time, Captain Jettison. Perfect. Alright, let's do this. Time? To go home. Caution approaching orbital debris. That's field. what we've got the Cyclops shield for. Oh no, no, don't you dare, no. Oh thank god. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. I swear, if that was going to end the same way that we started with the life pod, hell no. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in 3, 2, 1. Goodbye, 4546B. Goodbye. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. Well, there you have it everyone, the end of our journey in Subnautica. Uh, this game has been a special one for me for sure, especially because I have never played a game like this before. And even though this let's play might be over, I have a feeling I'm still gonna spend some time building bases and stuff. But maybe in the creative game mode, so that I don't have to fear for every single reaper of Ivan I see. But even if I'm gonna go and play in creative. This game truly had an amazingly fun gameplay loop 
combined with a very interesting and intriguing story. It is true that there were a few issues I had with some minor bugs, but overall this has been an awesome adventure. So awesome in fact that I can already tell you all that I am 100% going to play the Below Zero sequel after it reached the full release. No clue how long that will still take, but I can't wait to see what that game will hold for me. Although, if I have to guess, I am going to expect a lot more Leviathan-like horrors. This game is a game I'm absolutely going to remember. Thanks everyone for joining me, and as always, have a very nice day, and remember, have fun. Welcome home to all terror. Permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits. Oh, come on!